At Stevenson Solicitors, we have a team of specialist regulatory lawyers who provide specialist advice and representation to health and social care providers in relation to CQC regulation and compliance. We provide advice and representation to providers in relation to registration advice, challenging inspection reports and ratings, civil enforcement action including notice of proposal to council registration, criminal investigations and prosecutions and appeals to the first tier tribunal care standards chamber. After a service is inspected, a provider will receive a draft inspection report setting out the findings from that inspection, including the ratings in each inspected domain and the, any breaches of regulation. The provider will then be given 10 working days to challenge the factual accuracy of the draft inspection report. This is an opportunity for providers to challenge the accuracy and completeness of the evidence upon which the inspector's ratings and judgments are based. This includes typographical and numerical errors, the accuracy of the evidence relied upon and any additional or omitted information not included in the report. This is an important process and should be utilised by any care provider who is not happy with the accuracy and completeness of the evidence upon which the report is based. Providers need to ensure that they have solid grounds for challenging their inspection report. Each challenge must be set out clearly and concisely and be supported by robust documentary evidence. If no challenge is made to a draft inspection report and it is subsequently published, there is a presumption that the contents of the report are accepted by the provider. When the findings within an inspection report are not challenged and are later used as the basis for enforcement action by the CQC, it becomes much more difficult for providers to challenge that enforcement action based on unchallenged inspection findings. After an inspection report is published, a provider can request a review of the ratings within the final inspection report. This must be done using the correct online form and must be submitted within 15 working days of publication of the final report. The only ground for requesting a review of the ratings is that the inspector has failed to follow the correct process for making the ratings decision and aggregating the ratings accordingly. You cannot request a review solely based on the fact that you disagree with the ratings judgments of the CQC. The CQC will consider whether the review falls within the permitted grounds for making a review and if so, it will be allocated to a member of CQC staff independent from the initial inspection process. However, it is important to note that if the CQC do not uphold a request for a review, you are unable to submit a subsequent request to review the ratings of the same inspection report. It should be noted that a ratings review can result in an increase or a decrease in the ratings and is limited to only 500 words. Due to this word limit, ratings reviews are difficult to obtain and recent statistics show that ratings reviews are only successful in around 5% of cases and do not always result in a change in the ratings. Having said that, this is the only route for a provider to attempt to change the rating after the publication of an inspection report. We were recently instructed to act on behalf of a care home provider registered to accommodate people with physical disability and or complex healthcare needs. The CQC carried out a comprehensive inspection of the home in February 2023 and approximately one month later they received a draft inspection report which showed that they would have been rated good in four of the five key domains and outstanding in the fifth domain leading to an overall rating of good. We were instructed to submit a factual accuracy challenge on behalf of the provider in response to the draft inspection report. This included a challenge of the individual ratings and a submission that the overall rating should be outstanding rather than good. Within that challenge, we made detailed submissions as to why the inspector had incorrectly rated the service, with reference to the inspector's own findings, the CQC's key lines of inquiry and ratings characteristics. One of the CQC's key ratings principles is that in order for an outstanding rating to be awarded, at least two of the key domains would need to be rated as outstanding, with the remaining three rated as good. Therefore, on this occasion, we needed to successfully challenge one of the good ratings in order to be able to challenge the overall rating of the service. In May 2023, the CQC provided a response to our factual accuracy challenge confirming that the rating for the responsive domain had been upgraded from good to outstanding. After reconsidering all of the available evidence and the upgraded rating for the responsive domain, the overall rating for this service was upgraded from good to outstanding. We were recently instructed by a care home provider in February 2023 to request a review of their ratings. They had already submitted a detailed factual accuracy challenge 
which led to a number of changes within the final inspection report. However, the ratings remain the same. We were instructed to make a ratings review request on behalf of the provider with reference to the CQC's ratings guidance and the provider's detailed factual accuracy challenge within 15 working days of publication of the final report. After considering our request, the CQC accepted that their findings within the safe and well-led domain should be considered again alongside the ratings characteristics and the inspection report was sent back to the inspection team to review the impact of those changes on the ratings. In the meantime, the report was withdrawn from publication. These cases demonstrate the importance of challenging the inspection report and ratings both before and after publication and the um, impact these challenges can have on the content and ratings within a report.